Well, I got home a few hours ago and I decided I was going to try to get some sleep tonight until I hear rumbling thunder in the distance and look at the radar. Uh, sure doesn't look like a 0% chance of rain to me, Weather Channel. Um, yeah, looks like I'm doing a, a night of salamandering too. So I will probably, you will probably be seeing this in the second video of the week. Hopefully I'll get enough content for two full videos. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to wait for this rain to hit and then I'm going to go walk around. So this video is being shot only a few hours after I got home from the last video that you guys saw on my channel. Uh, I had a decent day of looking for snakes and then this front came in. So basically I'm just going to get out and walk around for salamanders here by my house and see what all I can find. If I'm lucky, I might even see some snakes here too. So we'll see. All right, guys. So a lot of this video is probably going to be filmed on my phone tonight just for the sake of keeping my camera um, dry and functional. My phone's water resistant. My camera's not. So anyways, I'm headed out. It's warm. It's probably in the, it's in the high sixties. It's probably like 67, I think. And, uh, as you can see, it's pissing down rain. So hopefully we'll see plenty of salamanders and maybe even some snakes. There's a really eerie mist or fog coming in right now. Makes for a, well, it's probably not gonna be able to see crap on my phone, but it looks really cool out here. Can you guys hear that? Just a really creepy explosion is going on in the background and that is not thunder. But anyways, first salamander of the night is a gravid female two-line salamander. I actually saw one of these on my way home. Um, just stopped and moved them out of the road real quick. But this is the second one of the night, I guess. So technically it's the second salamander of the night. But pretty cool, gorgeous little salamander. Going to get a couple quick photos of her and move her out of the road. All right, guys, next salamander of the night is this awesome adult four-toed salamander. This looks like an adult male four-toed salamander. I can tell because he's slender and isn't carrying eggs and has those pheromone receptors you can see hanging down right there on his face. But awesome salamander, definitely something I was expecting and hoping to see tonight. And I'm going to get a couple quick photos of this guy. Second species for the night and third salamander, I guess, total. Third species of herp for the night, spring peeper. Uh, obviously pretty common here in the winter as you've seen from my other videos, but really common frog. Always nice to see these guys. I'm going to get them off the road real quick. Third species for the night. All right, guys, it's definitely going crazy tonight. I can just look up the road and see salamanders. There's one right there. There's another two line salamander right here. Another gravid female. I'm going to move her out of the road in a second, but let's go see what this next salamander is because he is going pretty fast. I had to guess, I think this is gonna be another two-line. Yep, another two-line salamander. All right, I'm very clearly gonna lose count fast. This is another two-line salamander. Another gravid female, too. Crazy. That's, I think, four gravid females tonight so far. Yet another one, another female. These gravid females are moving in mass tonight. All right, so this bridge right here is generally where I turn around, but another two line. He's going on his own. And that does look like this one might be a he. Yep, you see the little Sierra dangling down there. All right, what do we got here? That's a peeper. I'm not even gonna bother trying to keep track of stuff. You guys will be able to count it out, but yep, another, another gravity female two line. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that, a little yearling spotted salamander. Beautiful. So I've done like less than a half of a pass. Look at his little breathing. I've done less than a half of a pass of the road. Less than a half of a pass and already this much stuff. Tonight is the night, I guess. The peeper there. Looks like there might be some more stuff right up ahead. Cannot tell. That is a leaf. Oh my god. It's fogging on my camera, on my phone, because it's getting so wet. The rain is picking up. Another species for the night, though. A little uh, metamorph bullfrog. This guy will grow up to be significantly larger than he is right now, and that's about the size of a quarter. Alright, so there's a two line right there. Another gravid female. And then 
right here is an upland chorus frog. That is a good looking little frog. Look at that thing. All right, guys, here's another better lit look at this upland chorus frog. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I, oh, and there he goes. He's still right here, but gorgeous brick red coloration on this guy. They're normally more brown than that. But anyways, gonna let him keep hopping and see what else we can find. So the numbers tonight so far have been what I was hoping slash expecting, but the diversity has been kind of weird. Two line salamanders, obviously the most common herb so far. Um, not something I was expecting to be the most common herb. I was kind of expecting four-toed salamanders or marbled salamanders to be the most common, but interesting either way. All right, I see a couple of salamanders right here. This first one is another spotted, nice. That guy has some reduced spotting, look at that. And that, I don't think that's actually a salamander, so. There's a big salamander further up though. So here's one more look at this guy and we're gonna go see what that bigger salamander is. So I'm hoping to at least see a small migration of adult spotteds tonight. It's definitely a little early, but I can hope. And this is not a spotted, but it's a new, oh, there's a frog. New species for the night, marbled salamander. Let's see what this frog is real quick. I'll come back to him. That is a really, Monocolor spring peeper. Interesting. All right. Finally got a chance to look up from uh, the road without seeing a salamander. So spot the next one live for you guys. Since there's been so many out. All this is seriously like the longest like 20 seconds I've gone all night without seeing something. What is that? A millipede. So I was really hoping to at least see a adult spotted tonight. There's a four toed. What is that? It's another millipede. Anyways, I was hoping to see at least a four toed or adult spotted tonight. That looks like another little one up there. But I saw. Okay, there's a four toed right here. You have to see these guys from the right angle or they just basically don't exist. And then. Here is a, that's actually a bigger one, but still yearling, not an adult. Here's a more typical looking upland chorus frog with that brownish coloration. I'm about to get run over, so I'm gonna get out of the road. All right, probably the last one of these guys I'm gonna show since they're everywhere all of a sudden, but another upland chorus frog. Here's another tiny four toed. I didn't photograph that first big one I found because I was assuming I was going to see more and I've just found tiny ones since then so yet another tiny four toed well you guys might have to wait to see an adult spotted salamander but you won't have to wait to see more four toads that are about an inch long and not what I'm looking for this guy is completely submerged in water, basically. All right, this is hands down the last little boy I'm going to be showing you guys because they're all the same size and they all look the same. But another four toed. It's got to be like six or seven. The Ambostoma really are not having any part of this tonight, which is kind of unbelievable. I'm glad I didn't drive to look for tiger salamanders, which is what I was kind of wishing I had done when I saw the rain coming in. But I'm starting to feel like that might have been a waste of time since there's not a lot of spotted or marbleds moving here. All right, there he is. I was like, I knew I saw a four toed. Another one. Well, on the bright side, the random explosions that I was hearing off in the woods have stopped. So got that going for me. There we go, that is a tank of a four-toed salamander. Nice. I'm actually gonna photograph this one. It's the second, only the second adult four-toed of the night. There's yet another little yearling spotted salamander. Good to see these guys are doing so well. Um, I wanna find their parents and grandparents, but little guys are still cool, I guess. Get this guy to the road. All right, another pass back through where there were so many two-line salamanders earlier. 
it seems like the two lines like to move when it's actually raining and now it's just kind of misting looks kind of cool in the camera but it seems like i see a lot of those guys when it's actually raining so that would make sense if there's not as many on this pass look at this lumbering beast another adult four toed salamander this is the third adult slowly making his way across the pavement All right, guys, well, I tried walking around down here in the pools a little bit to see if I could turn up an adult spotted, but no luck. They're just now starting to fill up good. So um, anyways, it's been a pretty productive night, but I think I'm going to go inside before I make myself sick uh, by getting any colder and wetter than I already am. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, this will be the second video for the week. It'll be a quick one probably, but hopefully it was enjoyable. Uh, if you like this type of little quick hitting uh, amphibian herping, let me know and I'll do more of it, but it seems a little redundant to show you guys 10 million four-toed... Oh, there's a frog. Hello. 10 million four-toed salamanders. But anyways, let me know in the comments, and thank you guys for watching. So, first pass, pouring rain. There were two lines everywhere. Second pass, it was dry. No two lines. Third pass, well, not third pass, but on my way back on the second pass, it started raining again, and another two line. In addition to the other two line... We've got this guy posted up, bro. He is out looking for those pheromones. Trying to find him a lady friend. Well, my heart wants me to do another pass, but my brain's telling me to uh, stop while I'm ahead. So I think I'll leave you guys on this uh, detached tail of a four-toed salamander sitting in the road. Uh, I think this happens pretty often when the salamanders get hit on the tail or a predator attacks them and uh, they drop the tail and hopefully that means the salamander itself, I mean you can see is nowhere right here, hopefully that means the salamander escaped whatever encounter it was that led him to uh, lose his tail. But I see this so much, like this is probably like the, the 15th or so just tail I've seen tonight. I see almost as many as I see salamanders, it's crazy. All right, we are in my actual driveway now, and the first driveway herp of the night. Little up and course frog on my way back up. This is probably gonna be the last herp of the night though. Will this video ever end? Not as long as I keep finding herps in my driveway. Spring peeper. All right guys, seriously, I'm soaked, I'm tired, I'm done. I'm gonna go get some rest. Thank you guys for watching.